Polk County Sheriff Brady Judd is dealing with a basketball backlash tonight. An atheist group says he crossed the line when he dug up basketball hoops from the county jail and gave them to local churches. Our Chris Martinez is live in the newsroom tonight with what this group is now telling the sheriff to do. Chris? Well, Jamison, they're basically telling him to undo what he's already done. This group says this clearly violates separation of church and state. And while the sheriff isn't talking about this tonight, the atheists are, and they say they're ready to take this to court. It wasn't easy for Polk inmates to dig up and say goodbye to the one fun thing they got to do in jail. But getting rid of the game could now be even tougher to deal with for the sheriff that made the call. He played Santa Claus with county property. He had no business doing that. Ellen Beth Wax is a member of Atheist of Florida, a group outraged that taxpayer-funded hoops from the jail were all given to new homes that all have one thing in common. Everyone who was designated to get a basketball court is a Christian church. And that is absolutely unconstitutional under both the U.S. Constitution and the Florida Constitution. At the time, the sheriff said the move was meant to send a message. You don't come to jail to play basketball. You don't come to jail to have a good time. All the equipment would be donated to various local nonprofits. They ended up at eight Polk County churches, removed, delivered, then set up again by county workers and a handful of inmates. Who paid for that? I'd like to see an accounting of how much money was expended, and uh, the sheriff needs to pay, uh, open up his wallet and pay for that, or the, um, or the churches need to pay for it. What the atheist group wants now is another relocation, this time to county parks or maybe Polk schools. Anywhere, they say, that doesn't have a religious connection. It is not a huge request. This is taxpayer county property. It belongs with the county. And I can tell you tonight, this group is putting a timeline on their request. They say if those hoops aren't moved by sometime next week, they're going to go to a judge. They're going to ask for an emergency injunction to have all of those removed from all of those churches. We'll let you know what happens.